Hey everybody, how's it going? It's time for another. Yep, with another shot of your. All right, let me quit. Catch up, Torchic. You can do it. Run like the wind. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's so fun to be playing Pokemon again. Just gotta say, man. Hey, Polk. Hey. Hey, man. Yeah. This is Pokemon Go. Flood yourself. Emerald by me, Fleddenmon fourteen. Yeah. All right. What's going on, guys? Uh, welcome back to the Let's Play. In the last episode, we finally delivered the letter to Stephen, and we also returned here to Rustboro in order to get the experience share. And in this episode, we are going to, um go to our next destination from the island which was to deliver the um i think we have a package yeah yeah a package for the shipyard in slate port city i think it is so there's that all right and we are going to take out daedalus our magic heart oh and we'll leave yeah yeah i guess we'll leave scope with us we don't really need uh Tracer anymore. She was just uh, using Flash in the cave. She was being a little, uh, she was just, uh, she was flashing for. <laughs> well, that sounds so bad because. <laughs> and, and and what's worse is my Ralts is a female. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like getting flashed by Ralts, uh, that's kind of, uh, I mean, that's kind of bad. She's like underage, dude. Now, now. Carolia or, uh, you know, Guardivar. Oh, man. Yeah, who, who knows what's under that robe? Am I right, guys? My... <laughs> um, anyway. Back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, it's on strategy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How you guys doing? Obviously, I am in a good mood. You know, good mood food. Must have had some Arby's. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man. Whoop! Gotta love hopping around. See ya, lady. I'm on a quest. I'm on a master, master quest on the road. I got to be. Cause I believe. Okay, you better quit, Josh. You're gonna get a copyrighted taken down. Man for the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go. Do for. It's due for time. Let's roll. Back on a boat. Oh man. You gotta enjoy this music though, guys. This is uh actually this may be the last time we hear this music in the game. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. It's kinda it's kinda sad in a way. But yeah, we'll be parting ways soon with old you know, hospitable Mr. Briner here. Uh, so let's do it. Slate port. Here we come. Yeah, anchors away. Woo! And we are just flying by all these trainers. Yeah, you guys will see later. You know, much later in the game. But, uh, yeah, quite a lot of trainers we just skipped up right there. So, Ahoy! I suppose you're off to, to, to Captain Stern to deliver the Devon goods? Uh, yes. Yes, I am, old man. Now then... Away with you. No, just kidding. No, but he'll stay there in case you need to go back to... Oh, and I'm checking for hidden items, by the way. Ah, Ether. Nice. But yeah, he'll stay there in case you need to go to back to Petalburg. So. Oh, and uh, talk to these kids here. You can have this. Oh, <laughs> that's just... <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, we're going to get all the sand from the beach make a big castle. And then we're going to be a king and queen. We'll let you be a servant. Oh, well, thanks. 
our sandcastle's taking a long time to make. Oh, yeah, yeah. Imagine so if you're going to get all the sand from this beach. Dear God. Um, that being said, the ground type moves will be increased now. So if you have a Pokemon hold this item, so perfect for Floodmon who just learned a mud shot and a couple other things. Well, for now, who shall we switch up to the front? Um, yeah, actually, I'm going to put Salty, you know, kind of toward the back here. Uh, as I've said, um, yes, eventually we're going to switch him for Daedalus. Uh, when exactly? I don't know, but, uh, uh yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll just play it by ear for now. Uh, for now, yeah, let's let, uh, Tad Lily get up front and, uh, yeah, play around. See. See if she can uh, KO some guys. I've laid an anchor. I've laid anchor ports around the world, but slate ports the best. Oh, really, matey? Well, Sailor Huey, <laughs> Huey Longstocking. Nah. Ooh, does Wingle know Wing Attack at level twelve? You know, it's funny. I should know this since I'm raising one, but. Uh, I, I have no idea, so I'm going to hope not, and just uh, go with some absorbing here. Give me your soul. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, but yeah, we're kind of on a, uh, yeah, a sort of uh, fun part of the game. Well, actually, it depends on, it depends on, really how your play style like I don't know some people will kind of complain about this part of the game and say oh you know there's too many trainer battles there's trainers everywhere you have to battle all of them you know it's annoying or it's you know a bother uh me I kind of like this part of the game I mean dude it it is you know the game is oh wow well, and yeah nature power is going to turn an earthquake here too that's nice but it is, you know, Pokemon, you know, and, uh, I mean, really, battles are, you know, the kind of essence of the game. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know, I don't know. So, so yeah, if you don't like, oh, a nice, my chap's using the uh, focus energy there. Raises its crit ratio, and that's actually a great combo. Well, I'll use low kick. Ooh, wow, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, it's a great combo with a uh, Karate Chop, which it learns naturally, which, you know, already has a high crit ratio, so. Dude, dude, don't be low kicking me, man. That's a low blow, man. Yeah, take that, my chop. Ooh, Tad Lily, hanging on like a champ. You're the best. Oh, thanks, thanks. But I owe all the credit to my Pokemon. And the best port was the best trainer. Yep. No, but like, yeah, you know, uh, you know, you pretty much have to battle. That's, you know, mainly what Pokemon's all about. So, yeah, like I said, I just don't see the, you know, complaint or the, the validation for the, uh, you know, for the, you know, so. Uh, I think there's maybe another hidden item around here. I don't know. I want to say there is. But uh, I could be wrong. Been a while since I played, but... Actually, this chair looks suspicious. Aha! A great ball just sitting there in that chair. Um, yeah, there there are, by the way, a lot of hidden items among this beach. Uh, so, you know... Uh, hmm, looks like we may be able to trigger a double battle with that kid up there and that sailor. So... But yeah, there are a lot of hidden items, uh, so, uh, once we get a certain item, we'll want to come back here and make sure we didn't miss anything. Battle with me. Oh, man. That guy sounds like he's about to throw up. Oh, there's a little girl hiding under the sun for a while. Oh, that's, uh, tricky, guys. Tricky. I can't swim, so I'm pretending to swim. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, you poor girl. That's okay. You'll learn to swim one day. No need to hurry. Almost said no need to worry. Well, yeah, there's no need for that either. 
Right? Blah, blah, blah. And yeah, let's just. Uh, ooh, yeah, we could use Earthquake, but no. no I'm not going to use Earthquake because that'll hurt Mega Minato as well. Uh, but yeah, let's just absorb her. And then. Yeah, let's take a Wingle because. Ooh, it does no wing attack. Level 13. Okay, okay. Alright, alright. Yeah, we're going to stay in with Tad Lily though because. She'll be able to leech a lot of life off of uh, Meryl there, so yeah. Yeah, we're going to be taking some super effective tackle, but it's okay. It's okay, because, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to stay. Oh, pff, yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, that's real smart. Use a move that's not only not very effective, it's like one-fourth not effective. It's like uber ineffective. That's, that's smarts. <laughs> Oh man. But yeah, as you can see with these battles, you really like if you defeated Brawly's gym, uh you should have like, you know, no problems with these because yeah, cuz as you can see the AI is, you know, sometimes really stupid with these battles too. I mean, if that trainer would have kept in level 16 nice. But if that trainer would have kept, you know, just spamming, ah, level 9 Daedalus nice. Could would have just kept spamming, you know, wing attack over and over. Uh, they probably would have knocked out Tad Lily, not gonna lie. So, yeah. And now we're at full health, just like that. That's good. Alright, Bullet Seed, and we'll use Water Gun just because it doesn't matter. You did. See ya, Meryl. Alright. Oop, oop. Oh gosh. <laughs> I thought so. I didn't think we could win. Oh, it's okay, little girl. Oh, and Tad Lily's gonna try to evolve. We can't have that, man. Not right now. As beautiful and as great as it would be. Not just yet. Oh wow. I I'm thirsty. I could go for a soda pop at the seashore house. Oh yeah, soda pop does sound good. Yeah, I like Soda Pop too. Uh, favorite Soda Pop would probably be... Probably be... Uh, Dr. Pepper? Yeah, 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 Dr. Pepper. Well, I also really like uh, Cherry Vanilla Pepsi though. That's, that's pretty good. That's good stuff. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh wow, Earthquake did a lot there. I'm just going to use it again. What the heck? <laughs> Dude... Dude, this Zigzagoon no surf? <laughs> Whoa, bro. Uh, that's, uh, hmm. That's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting right there. Huh. Yeah, uh, be careful going against Tuber uh, Ricky here with a, uh, you know, if all you've got is Torchic. Will you have another match with me when I'm not all thirsty? Uh, yeah, sure, buddy. Man. Uh, okay. When I learn how to swim, I think my Pokemon will become tougher. Uh, maybe, yeah. I'm usually stronger than this. I'm just sick as a dog. I'm a sailor, but... <laughs> I'm getting famished. My inner tube looks like a giant donut. <laughs> oh, man. See, I love it, man. I mean, little piece of comedy like that, uh, you can't... Uh, I mean, come on. It's, 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 it's so cool, man. It's so cool. All right, but let's uh, switch Mega Mina to a front. And actually, I need to kind of adjust my arm here a little bit. It's actually starting to fall. It's funny, like my thumb was starting to fall asleep. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I was gripping the... I'm recording this on my cell phone, by the way, as you guys, I'm sure, can tell by now. But, uh, yeah, I was starting to grip the cell phone a little too tight. I don't know why. Uh, it's not like it's going anywhere. Pokemon at the same level may not have identical stats. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Pokemon raised by trainers are said to grow stronger. That is true. Uh, not only is it, like, you know, rumored or whatever, but it is, you know, completely true. So, yeah. Uh, let me check the shoreline some more here. Uh, no, no. I just feel like there's another hidden item here. You know, somewhere. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just tripping, man. I don't know. It just feels like there should be another one. Uh, well, guess not. Alright, what do you got to say, man? Ah, oh, but I get my Zigzagoon to pick up litter from the shoreline. 
Dirty, ra dirty water becomes rain and joins our rivers, which we drink from. If we pollute the sea, it all comes back to haunt us eventually. Ah, yes, yes. That is true. Uh, the environment must be taken care of. Uh, I, don't, I don't like the idea of going, you know, overboard with it. But, yeah, yeah. Alright, it looks like we got, I think, a double battle here. Yeah, yeah. I see two sets of little feet moving there, so, yeah. They try to, you know, lure you in with this Pokeball. Dian doesn't, a, ugh, doesn't a beach umbrella look like a giant flower? Uh, I guess kind of, yeah. Ta-da! See, my inner tube try. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> And it's so funny, like, why are all these little kids here on this beach, you know, battling Tuber Lola and Tuber Chandler? Like, number one, why are they all here on this beach? And number two, hmm, interesting. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys a little combo that you can do. And, you know, normally I wouldn't be able to show you this combo until much later in the game. But yeah, I'm going to switch out Mega Miniato, and I'm going to use Nature Power, which will turn into Earthquake. Oh, Poison Stink. Oh, dude, why didn't you use that against Tab Lily? I don't know. But anyway, yes, Earthquake. It hits all Pokemon. However, haha, doesn't affect Salty, because he's flying type. So yeah, that's a nice little double team combo you can use here. You know, if you just so happen to have uh, that move, and... Uh, a flying type, which we just so happen to have. Bubble, wow. Oh no, Azuril, don't kill me! It's too powerful! Wow, I didn't even see the bar move on either of those, bro. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, well let's just use Steel Wing, our new attack. Just to see what it looks like. I'm curious. Oh yeah! Nice. Supersonic, oh thank god that missed, yeah. Earthquake! Go, Tad Lily, destroy everything! And yes, that is a powerful attack, I tell you. Critical hit, didn't even need it on zero. And boom. Tentacle goes down, and Tuber Chandler, I think, is defeated here. Yes, level 10, Daedalus, alright. But da 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 da. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, what was I saying earlier? Oh, yeah, like, why are, why do all these, you know, like, little tuber people ha have, like, you know, Pokemon? Like, like, who's watching these kids? I, I guess that's more of my, you know, concern here. Like, seriously, who, who's in charge? Who, who's in charge? And, you know, where are they? Oh, one HP is a rule. Nice, bro. Nice. Well, that's what I get for making fun of you. Um, by the way, Azuro here is not water type, despite it learning some water type moves. It's the baby form of Meryl, and it's normal type. Uh, yeah, go figure. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you're wondering why, like, oh man, my Thunder or my Absorb isn't super effective on Azuro, well, that's why it's normal type. Kind of odd, really, but uh, me, I'm here every day. Oh, and we registered this, you know, the four-year-old's number. <laughs> if you look at the beach from the sky, it looks like a big flower garden. Uh, maybe. After I showed you my round inner tube, too. And after all that, we get a potion, which you may need, you know, after all these double battles and stuff. Especially after this triple battle right here. Uh, let's see, we already... Wait, did we fight this guy? I think so, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, and there is one more attraction here, and it is the Seashore House. May hot battles rage on hot sands, the place for hot trainers. Yo, trainers, when you're hot to trot or cool cat not, chill at my papa spot. Huh? she's so cute. Very well, you've convinced me. Let's, well, do we have time? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go in, let's go in. Let's do it. Let's do it right here, right now. What's up, little kid? I'm going to show you how great my Pokemon are, but don't cry. Oh, I won't. I won't. I won't if you won't. Promise? Promise, Tuber Simon? Ah, and he has a, a Zerul. Well, I have the adult version. 
Mega Mina 2. Yep. I don't know, I guess they put the tubers in, you know, just to, you know, kind of give you an easy time. You know, they tend to use baby Pokemon, which, eh, don't give out much experience, but, uh, at the same time, they aren't too difficult to beat, so, yeah, makes that all much better, eh? Oh, and he does have an actual Meryl, okay. Well, Meryl versus Meryl. Huh. This guy is uh, aiming to be the number one all-water trainer. We we can't have that. Well, I guess he's not an all-water trainer. Yeah, yeah, because he has an Azuril, so. But still, we can't. Oh, nice. Yeah, we can't have his Azuril and Meryl, you know, trying to, trying to be better than our Mega Minato. No, no. There's only room for one, you know, cute Pokemon with a blue tail, and it's with me. Tackle attack! Good job. Good job. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Well, Alright. If one of my Pokemon knew the move for carrying me across this water, cross water on its back, I could get rid of this inner tube. Oh, wow. Foreshadowing. Um, what's up? Oh, I'm the owner of this seashore house, but you can call me Mr. C. What I love above all is to see hot Pokemon battles. Let me see that your heart burns hot. So you can defeat all the trainers here. I'll reward your efforts. Oh, so that's what we're doing here. Okay. I mean, I was going to fight them all anyway, but, uh, yeah. Now that I know that there's a reward, boring battles are worth the effort. Fiery hot battles are what toughens, it, are what toughen up trainers and Pokemon. Oh, really? Well, show me something that's fiery hot, huh? Oh, hey, hey, Beauty Joanna. Yeah, that is pretty uh, fiery, uh. I don't know. Well, yeah, um, <clears throat> well, gotta stay professional here. <clears throat> uh, Beauty Joanna just has a level 13 Goldeen. Should be no problem. Uh, I mean, does Goldeen even know any damaging attacks at this point? Yeah, it's using Supersonic. I don't know, does it? I mean, Water Sport? No, it doesn't look like it. I mean, so this is another. Well, well that just doesn't make sense, though. I can't see them having this trainer have not one damaging attack. Tail Whip, yeah. Let's see, that's Tail Whip, Water Sport, uh, Supersonic. Man, maybe it does. It can't do anything to you. That's that's <laughs> you know, it's very questionable. Ooh, okay. Mega Minato is trying to learn Rollout here. Great move. Uh, also, if you use Defense Curl before you use Rollout. It'll boost the power of your first rollout, so that's good. We want that. Uh, so we'll get rid of Tail Whip. Plus, it's Rock type, uh, which is good. Good. It'll give you a little, you know, coverage on your all water team. So, yeah. Oh, and Daedalus level eleven. Cool. All right. And ooh, how you doing? That's hot. Uh, yeah, yeah. So are you? Hey, yeah, you are. Yeah, you know you're hot. Whew, I'm all thirsty. Maybe I'll have you a soda pop. <laughs> Hey, hey, if I wasn't a girl in this game, I'd gladly buy you one and ask you to sit outside on the beach. Oh, man. Yeah, and now we're really talking. All right, moving on. We have the last trainer here. If you're looking for a battle in the seashore house, you'll find no hotter trainer than me, matey. Arrgh. Let's battle. This guy sounds like he wants to join Team Aqua. <laughs> Speaking of Team Aqua, I wonder how... Uh, uh, what those guys are up to, those crazy guys. Haven't seen them in a while. No hijinks lately. Oh, and in perfect time, here's a Pokemon that's part flying type right here. So let's show the combo right now. Defense Curl to start. Aw, oh, yeah. And now we go to Rollout. Aw, oh, you... Ah, I hate confusion. Anyway, come on, Mega Minato. Roll out, my homies. Roll out with the top bat. Roll out. Roll out. Yeah, you can't stop that. Roll out. Heck yeah. All right, let's keep it going. Oh, man, he's got a Machop. Well, that's actually not good. I kind of hope I hit myself in confusion. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, because Rock is not very effective to fighting, so... 
Yeah, rollout would have been really stunted there. It wouldn't have done much at all, so. Might have taken up to turn 5 to kill him, actually. But, um, yeah, just so you know, rollout, uh, it increases its power, you know, each turn that you use it. Uh, however, it's, like, locked in, you know what I mean? Like, you saw, it didn't even let me choose to, man, dude, quit low-kicking me in the, in the, uh, bouncy, bouncy, you know, things down there. <laughs> Stop it, bro. You know, it really hurts. I mean, have you ever been kicked in the nads? Like, that is a good question. Um, but, uh, well, if you're a guy, well, even if you're a girl, really, and you've been, you know, kicked down there, oh, it is just one of the worst pains ever. Supersonic, huh? Yeah. I've already been confused. In fact, I've already come back from confusion. So, there's no, yeah, yeah, look at that. Mega Minato. Yeah, you've already dealt with confusion once this battle. You you know what's up, bro. Good job, buddy. Oh, didn't get poisoned like a champ. All right, and down goes Tentacool. See ya. And we defeated Sailor Dwayne. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you better accept that loss, matey. Oops. Sorry, guys. All right, what do you got to say? Whenever I'm in Slateport, I enjoy hot battles and ice cold soda pop. All right. Well, Mr. C, we've defeated all, as you can see, haha, <laughs> we've defeated all three of the trainers here. You're scorching hot. <laughs> Those battles blazed. <laughs> I'm more than just satisfied. As thanks for showing me your hot streak. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. All the, all the fiery puns. I love it. I want you to take these. It's a half dozen bottles of soda pop to cool you off. All right, there we go. And actually, if you talk to him again, want to buy some soda pop? Pokemon love it. Just three hundred dollars a bottle. Buy some. Yes, this is actually, if you think about it, uh, and I'm just gonna sit here and keep buying some while I talk. But yes, super potions are seven hundred dollars, and they heal only fifty HP. These are three hundred dollars and heal sixty HP. Probably, well. Would I say it's the best economical buy? No, no, no. Lemonades are probably the best, you know, economical buy. You know, bang for your buck. You know, per dollar. You know, the HP to dollar ratio. Probably lemonades. But, uh, yeah, this is, you know, just as good. So, I'm actually going to end the episode here. And I'm just going to be sitting here, you know, buying soda pops over and over. But in the next episode, we will finally... This was our last stop, so we'll finally arrive in Slateport City. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.